Uh, very good afternoon to all. Uh, I welcome uh, Secretary of I uh, Academy of Rognidan, uh, Dr. Uh, Vashne, sir. Uh, then today's speaker, Dr. Bhojraj Choudhury, sir. And all the dignitaries, students who are present for this today's lecture. Uh, today we have very uh, friendly uh, teacher or we say, you can say, the person who makes uh, students very comfortable when he is taking lecture. Uh, so I am very glad to invite Dr. Bhojraj Choudhury, sir. Uh, Choudhury, sir, is currently uh, working as assistant professor and head of the department at SGR Ayurved College, Solapur. Uh, he uh, and he is also pursuing his PhD from I YMT Ayurved College, Karkar, under the guidance of Professor Zaikini, ma'am. Uh, sir has total experience of uh, 16 years UG, UG teaching experience and PG teaching experience is uh, almost 11 years. And in these 16 years, sir have published two books which are uh, having ISBN number and uh, approved by the CCM also. And sir have published nearly 10 articles in ISSN journals. Uh, also, sir is very active in various seminars, workshops, presentations. Uh, I, up to today, sir, have completed nearly 30, uh, say 30 plus seminars in which he has been uh, chairperson and in some lecture, uh, some seminars he has been uh, as a paper presenter and participant. So we are very uh, fortunate to have a young teacher like Dr. Bhujraj Chaudhary, sir. Uh, so I would like to invite on the behalf of Academy of Rognidan to have his say on today's topic that is Shatkriyakal related with diabetes mellitus or we can say Madhumeya. So I request uh, Dr. Choudhury sir uh, to start his lecture. Okay. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Polis sir. Uh, good afternoon all of you. I would like to thank Dr. Pawan sir, President of uh, Academy of Prognidan and Secretary Dr. Varshne sir, and also single lecture series convener, Dr. Kole sir. So today's uh, my topic is uh, Ayurvedic concept of Shatkriya Kala, a knowledge of Madhumeya pathogenesis. Madhumeya is uh, known as uh, similar to diabetes mellitus. And it is the subject that everyone knows from first year to till date or up to the during college. At the end of the lectures, everyone get the knowledge of Shatkriya Kala and its role in Madhumeya. I will start. This figure shows us our and its changes. In the body, there is a disease, primary, hetus, then pururupas, nidan panchaka takes place. And during nidan panchaka, there is a progressive shatkriya kala in the body of patients. Then confirm the disease. So the Shatkriya Kals having stages of disease progress. These are six stages. It is a progressive pathogenesis of disease to break pathogenesis of the disease. That is early diagnosis and treatment as soon as possible. Sometimes patients do not take medicine and its Shatkriya Kal was completed. Then he came to hospital with all Shatkriya Kal Avastha and many symptoms also. Ayurveda emphasizing on being healthy gives a detailed descriptive about the initiation of stages step by step in the diseases. Acharya Susuta explains that conditions into six st 
stages is that is shat kriya kal or kriya kalas if one pays special attention to change happening inside and outside of the body anyone can heal the and it's easy to get healed early stages is then kriya kala kriya and kala these two words that is also known as chikitsa kala kriya means karma pravrutti or action where action to treatment medicine food or daily routine disturbance gives in doshas and kala refers to the stages of progress of the diseases kala means time parinam in the ayurveda time to treatment for action of chikitsa appropriate action for the chikitsa that is kriya kala also in shat kriya kala these particularly disease wise kriya kala gives us the knowledge of diagnosis its prognosis and the level of intervention also to prevent the establishment of disease and time of treatment that is kala interception in the process of disease manifestation the vakya of shatkriya kala is with its types sanchay cha prakopan cha prasaram sthana sansaranam vyaktam bhedam yo vyakti doshanam cha sad bhavikshak सुसूत ने बताया है सिक्स टाइप्स ऑफ षट क्रिया काला संचय मीन्स एकुमलेशन ऑफ दोषाज प्रकोपा दैट इज विटिएशन ऑफ द दोषाज प्रसरा दैट इज स्प्रेड और ट्रांसमिशन इन द बॉडी स्थान संश्रय दैट इज लोकलाइजेशन और the site where the doshas take us place vyakta manifestation or symptoms signs bheda it is the last avastha or kala differentiation or termination or differentiate these are six stages of kriya kala correlation with modern concept shat kriya kala that is sanchaya prakopa prasara sthan sansara vyakta bheda is likely known as that is position diagnosis treatment prognosis monitoring and disease outcome from these stages we knows about total disease with sign and symptoms then sanchaya is the first stage in actually accumulation of the doshas in their own respective states there is a figure there is a butter which is a having sheet guna and combined like a sanchaya it is the stage represent the inceptic phase of the disease to plan the suitable preventive measures so in sanchaya there are the accumulation of doshas due to sevana of hetus or nidana means continuously assumption or intake of hetus there will be sanchaya in the site of disease or strotasa nidanas 
that is etiological factors like in the prameha or type of madhumeha navanna panam that is freshly wrapped rice ishtanna sevana food from the floor गुड वैकृतम मीन्स जागिरी प्रोडक्ट्स क्षीर गुरु मिल्क नव मध्य मीन्स फ्रेशली फर्मेंटेड वाइन दधी मीन्स ग्राम्य अनुप मांस सेवन लाइक डोमेस्टिक और एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स सेवना स्वप्न सुखम आस्य सुखम एक्सेट्रा बाय विच देर विल बी अटेन द पोजिशन ऑफ संचय एंड संचय ऑफ कफ दोष अलॉन्ग विथ दैट कफ दोष इन शरीर संप्राप्ति विल बी रन for the next stage of the disease sanchaya having mainly two types and every type have again two types swabhavik and aswabhavik there is a main two type of sanchaya and naimattik avastik ayujanya swabhavik sanchaya and second one is pradnya prad or mithya arvya asat mindriya asta sanyo these are aswabhavi sanchaya avastha when sanchaya avastha takes place in the body there is a gauravam alasya lakshana takes place means asya sukham swapna sukham there will be alasyata and gauravam संचय लक्षण है पर्टिकुलरली दोष वाइज कफ दोष गौरव आलस्यता इन प्रमेय कफ दोष इज प्रोमिनेंट देन पित्त दोष पिता वासता मंदोष्मता वात दोष स्तब्धपूर्ण कोष्ठता दीज आर द संचय लक्षण इन षट क्रिया काला सेकेंड स्टेज इज प्रकोप अवस्था प्रकोपा दैट इज विलयन रूप वृद्धि एग्रीवेशन ऑफ दोषा शोन लाइक एज अ फिगर द संचय बटर वेन हिटेड देन इट विल बी हैविंग उष्ण गुना एंड इट लिक्विफाइंग पोजिशन लिक्विफाइंग पोजिशन मीन्स प्रकोपाशन एक्सटेंडेड स्टेज ऑफ चय अवस्था when continuously hetu sevana and sanchaya avastha then prakop avastha is extended which doshas are in liquid or gaseous form and tend to leave their site when the doshas takes place to move their other side in the body when they present in the body there will be some symptoms these symptoms are particularly dosh wise and disease wise in the prakop avastha then there is a prakop lakshane shows in shat kriya kala kapha dosha anna dvesh and rudayat kledha 
पित्त दोषा अम्लिका पिपासा परिदा वात दोषा कोष्ठतोद संचरण दिस प्रकोप लक्षण इन षटक्रिया काला दोष वाइज ऑल्सो प्रकोपा हैविंग मेनली टू टाइप्स चय प्रकोप एंड अचय प्रकोप दैट इज बलविदा आदि चय प्रकोप हैविंग टू स्टेजेस स्वाभाविक एंड अस्वाभाविक स्वाभाविक हैविंग ऋतुजन्य एंड अस्वाभाविक मिथ्या आहार विहार जन्य मेनली इन प्रमेया देर इज अ कफ प्रकोप लक्षणे अन्न द्वेषा एंड हृदय क्लेदश अन्न द्वेषा मीन्स अनन्नाभिलाषा एंड हृदय क्लेद देर इज अ नॉसिया और ओमेटिंग वेन कफ एकुमुलेटेड इन स्टमक इन सफिशियंट क्वांटिटी देर विल बी नॉसिया और ओमेटिंग देन प्रसरा इट इज अ थर्ड स्टेज ऑफ क्रिया काला दैट इज डिसमिनेशन इट्स व्याख्या योद्रिक्ता नाम प्रसोरो किनोदक इष्ट समवाय भवंती दोष संचय इन वेरी हाई क्वांटिटी एंड ओवरफ्लोस दैट इज प्रकोपी एग्रीवेट फ्रॉम देयर रिस्पेक्टिव साइड्स देन इट टेक्स प्लेस ऑफ प्रसर इन दैट फिगर बटर कंप्लीटली लिक्विफाइंग एंड ओवरफ्लोस इन द होल प्लॉट होल पॉट इन दिस स्टेज दोषा ऑल्सो मूव्स टू डिफरेंट प्लेसेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ वायु वायु हैविंग चलगु सो स्थूल दोष कफ एंड पित्ता विद द हेल्प ऑफ वायु दे विल बी प्लेसेस इन डिफरेंट स्टेजेस दोषा ऑल्सो मूव्स टू डिफरेंट प्लेसेस विद द हेल्प ऑफ वायु आयदर अलॉन और इन द कॉम्बिनेशन विथ अदर बोथ ऑफ थ्री थ्री दोषा वात पित्त कफ इन प्रसरा प्रकोपित और संचयित दोषा इंक्रीजेस फ्रॉम इट्स ओन साइड एंड स्प्रेडिंग ऑल ओवर द बॉडी विथ सिंगल दोषा वायु और कॉम्बिनेशनली द्विदोषा और त्रिदोषा वेन इन प्रमेहा कफ दोषा प्रकोपा गिव्स सिम्टम्स लाइक आरोचक विपाक अंग साद छर्दी एंड अदर दोषा पित्त दोषा हैविंग ओष चोष परिदा धुमायन वात दोषा हैविंग वायु विमर्ग गमन एंड आटो दीज आर सिम्टम्स ऑफ द प्रसर लक्षण दोष वाइज इन षटक्रिया का इन प्रसर अवस्था दोषा संचय वेन हाई क्वांटिटी इन दैट केस देर इज शोन सम सिम्टम्स इन प्रमेह अविपाक अंग साद स्निग्धान से छर्दी एंड आरोचक इट सिम्टम्स प्रोड्यूस आफ्टर द फर्स्ट थर्ड स्टेज इन द बॉडी इन प्रमेह फोर्थ स्टेज ऑफ क्रिया का स्थान संश्रय स्थान संश्रय दोष दुश्य संश्रय मीन्स एग्रीवेटेड दोष स्प्रेड टू डिफरेंट प्लेसेस एंड स्ट्रक समेर 
because of obstruction in strotasas due to abnormality in strotasas that is sthan khavaigunya relocation sthan sansara means relocation where sthan vaigunya is present or khavaigunya present in the body then aggravated doshas spread in that place and present there with their own symptoms the vakya of sthana sansraya sthana sansrina krudva bhavi vyadi bodhakam dosha kurvanti yat lingam puru rupam tad uthyacha when sthana sansraya will be the fourth stage of chakriya kama there is a bhavi vyadi bodhakam symptoms that is puru rupa in this stage all the pre dormant symptoms of this is appear so this stage also called as puru rupa of that diseases in sthan sansraya also upitanami doshanam sharire paridavatam yatra sanga kha vaigunya vyadi tatrop jayate aggravated or disturbed dosh moves all over the body and produces disease when favorable environment was developed for those dusha samurchana that is samprapti due to kha vaigunya in that strotas in particular site resulting with manifestation of disease that is pururupa or samanya and vishesh pururupa for example those dusha samurchana in basti region produce a disease like prameha with its mutra dosha so in prameha when those dusha samurchana was completed in basti there is a symptoms defined by mutra स्थान संश्रय देर इज प्रकुपित दोषा रिलोकेशन ऑफ द दोषा और एग्युमेंटेशन ऑफ द दोषा समटाइम्स देर इज आर्म फ्रॉम प्रसर स्टेज एंटर इन द फीबल एंड डिफेक्टिव टिश्यूज एंड इट इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल for functional damages this condition takes place in sthana sansraya fifth stage is vyakta vyadhi pravyaktam rupam vyakti vyakta when sthana sansraya completed then the present puru rupa will be completely shown in the vyakta avastha that is called symptoms appearance of clear cut symptoms of the disease that is called pratyatmik lakshana pratyatmik prati atma roop lakshana of that diseases that is also cardinal signs and symptoms that specific disease for example in prameha there is a prabhuta avila mutrata in such a stage where the illness has actual start and the process of the disease result in the manifestation of the clinical symptoms which are used diagnosis of the disease prameha lakshana there is a image clear urine and cloudy urine that is turbid urine or urine present with avilata these main two symptoms prabhuta avila mutrata that is increase in quantity of urine and avila mutrata that is 
present of turbidity in the urine last stage of shatkriya kala bhed avastha bhed avastha that is disruption differentiate condition varati sara prabhuti nam sa dirgha kala nu bandha तत्रा प्रतिक्रिया माने असाध्य अमुक युवती वातादिलक्षण भेदान्न भिन्न भेद एक्चुअली इट इज फाइनल स्टेज ऑफ क्रिया काला एज पर आयुर्वेदिक सिस्टम इन दिस स्टेज स्पेसिफिक साइन एंड सिम्टम्स ऑफ द डिज मैनिफेस्ट लाइक वातज प्रमेह लक्षणे इतज प्रमेह लक्षण एंड कफज प्रमेह लक्षण एक्सेट्रा ऑल्सो इट रेफर्स टू द क्रोनिसिटी ऑफ द डिजेस दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टेज ऑफ मैनिफेस्टेशन इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू क्यूर एंड इफ नॉट क्रिएटेड एट द अर्लिएस्ट डिज मे बिकम यून इनक्यूरेबल that is bheda provides the detailed information and understanding of the group of clinical symptoms tissue function serious damage of the strotasa and upadrava this cycle also aggravated by the unpleasant or toxic sides that is called side effects of the medicine or other channel of the body bheda stands for sapeksha nidana or differential diagnosis in bhed avastha when some similar symptoms is there then bhed stands for differential diagnosis now the second part is shatkriya kal in madhumeha madhumeha is a vatas type of prameha and every disease having shatkriya kal then prameha madhumeha madhumeha is vatas prameha which having the picture of sweet and turbid that is madhur and sandra मूत्र प्रवृत्ति इन प्रमेह प्र एंड मेह टू वर्ड्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द टर्म्स प्रमेय कैरेक्टराइज बाय प्रभुता विल मूत्रता एंड अविल मूत्रता प्र मीन्स प्रभुता मेह ते मीन्स यूरिनेशन when quantity of urine increased with its turbidity then called as prameha question between nidham sanchak and kriya kala in madhumeha sanche prakop prasa this first three stages that becomes by the निदान सेवना निदान सेवना कंटिन्युअसली वेन पेशंट टेकिंग डे बाय डे देन देर इज अ संचय प्रकोप एंड प्रसर आफ्टर देन स्थान संश्रय वेअर पूर्व रूपा विल बी कन्फर्म or shown by that diseases vyakta that is manifestation symptoms rupa and bhed there is a chir karitva with upadrava or sadhya sadhyatva in madhumeha doshas chai prakop prasham avastha will be start when patients having 
etiological factors. Then what the pitta kapha takes place with the chaya, prapopa and prashama. But when prashama is not takes place, then prapopa avastha convert into prasara and complete kriyakal will be gives us a diseases. In Sanjay Prakop Lakshana, particularly stage or period of that time will be triggered in the Khavai Gunya, particularly strotas wise or symptoms wise. These are figures shown as the completely Shatkriya body with their accumulation or doshat or nidanas up to the bheda avastha in madhumeha. Step by step, Shatkriya Kal when completed, then all symptoms with its type we are confirmed that is Prameha and by the types we are confirmed this is Madhumeha. Due to vitiation of all three doshas causing Prameha depending on the dominance of one or other dosha Prameha classified. First stage Sanchaya Avastha in Madhumiha. Sanchaya Avastha that is Nidana Sevana gives us some symptoms as like shown in the figure after Kapaja Sanchaya Hetu because of in Prameya is a uh, Prameya is a Kapajanya Vyadi and its main samprapti happened by the Kapha Sanjaya Hetu. Kaphakara Nidana Navanna Pana Pishtanya Payasa Kshira Dadi Gramya Anupa Sevana Diva Swapa Swapna Sukham Asya Sukham These accumulation of these Nidanas Kapha Dosha Sanjaya with other doshas. This figure gives us all hetus. After Sanchaya, second stage will be appear. Doshas increase in quantity as well as quality, and kapha is predominantly vitiated in Prameha. There is a Nidana of Kafakara Hetu. It's aggravated with Kafadosha and along with Amrasa. These two Nidana and Kafakara with Amrasa By these conditions, Kapha Prapo and Prakupit Kaf goes in the condition of Prasara. Vitated, the third stage in Pramya, Vitated Doshas circulate in the body. When Doshas takes place in the body, Medh, Mans, Kled, Rapta, Shukra, Rasa, Vasa, Majja, Lasika. These are Dushyas. When with Dusha, these Dushyas are present, finally the O's also vitiated by the vitiated Dushyas. And Samprapti 
going to prasar avastha the step by step conditions due to nidan dosh shipram shleshma prakopa gives of sharir shaithilyata causes prakupita kapha shiprameva sharire visruti and pramehata fourth condition avastha स्थान संश्रय विटेटेड दोषास अलॉंग विथ विटेटेड दुष्यास एंटर मूत्र व स्रोत आफ्टर संचय प्रको प्रसर दोषास एंड दुष्यास कलेक्टेड इन बस्ती और मूत्र व स्रोत टू गेट पूर्व रूपा ऑफ मधुमेह दैट पूर्व रूपा शोज अस सिम्टम्स लाइक यूरिन कलर स्मेल ऑफ यूरिन स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ यूरिन कैरेक्टर ऑफ यूरिन Samprapti run by kapha doshas with abaddha medh, sharir kled and maus. Dosh dushya sammurchana completed, then some symptoms will be appeared there in puru rupa. शरीर क्लेदश पुनर्दुसेन मूत्रत्वेन परिणाम यति देर इज सिम्टम्स मेद परिपक्व क्लेद मंस अति प्रमाण अभिदत्वात व्हेन क्लेद कलेक्टेड इन बस्ती there is a symptoms or prabhuta vila mutrata mutrava srotas dushtata and puru rupa shown in madhumeha by the color and smell of urine when sthan sanshraya avastha there are present lakshanes like jatil bhav keshashu kesha jata madhurya mansatya kar padayo burning foot syndrome supta daho peripheral neuritis symptoms burning of the hands पाद तल मुख तालू कंठ शोष पिपासा आलस्यता सम सिम्टम्स प्रोड्यूस बाय कफा सम प्रोड्यूस बाय वाता परिदाहम सुप्तता चांगेशु षट पिपली का भीष्ट शरीर मूत्र विसरण माधुर्यता इन मूत्र 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 दोषाण विश्रम शरीर गंध निद्रम तंद्र सर्व काल मिथि दीज आर अलसो कफज लक्षण सुश्रुत अलसो tells us some symptom that is kesha nakhati rati ruddhi after completed sthan sansray avastha there will be produce mainly two symptoms that is avila mutrata and prabhuta avila mutrata these two symptoms differentiate 
also it is madhumeha or udakmeha in vyakti sthana increase quantity and frequency of urine that is turbid urine which is excessively sweet and astringent in taste with other manifestation after dosh dushya sammurchana there will be vitiation in sparshavas smell varna color rasa taste avilata turbidity tumtrata based on dosha predominance vyakta avastha lakshane through the mutra such as prabhuta avil mutrata and avilata after vyakta avastha there is appeared bhed avastha bhed avastha is a last stage of shat kriya kala in every disease and shat kriya kala various complications along with prameha etika and or with its complications it is stage of differentiation of the sub type of prameha manifest vishesh lakshana of prameha manifestation of prameha upadravas there is also prameha pitika prameha upadravas other symptoms prameha is classified dana and dosh dushya vishesha and mutra avilata combination of one or more guna of kapha dosha gives the special features of mutra in 10 types of kapha ja prameha also shown in madhumeha in avaran condition vata prakop and kapha and pitta due to kapha and pitta kshaya vata prakopa takes place and increased rukshata of its own symptoms and samprapti goes towards vataj prameha vataj prameha having madhumeha one type and madhumeha means madhumeha madhu means hani meha means mutrata hani like urination that is madhumeha the character of mutra so all these six stages gives us the knowledge of shatkriya kala gives us knowledge of that particular disease and by the that knowledge chikitsa based on madhumeha shatkriya kala first three stages sanche prakop prasara managed ritu charya din charya acharya achar rasayan shodhan karma when sthan sansray avastha where puru rupa start manifesting in that stage apatarpan chikitsa 
और बस्ती और समान चिकित्सा वेन व्यक्त स्थान अटेन इन सक्रिय काला शोधना इज द मेन चिकित्सा ऑल्सो वमन एंड विरेचन वेन प्रमेहा अटेन इन भेद अवस्था वे आर इनक्रीज दिटेशन ऑफ दोषाज एंड दुशाज If there is present of Pramaya Pitikas, where we have to start Rakta Moksha, yeah, and Shaman Chikitsa. As the next stage, or by this Shatkriya Kala. we will end up in asadhya avastha turns in sadhya avastha or curable stage discussion in chakriya kala the concept of chakriya kala is applicable in all disorders or disease conditions early diagnosis and treatment of the disease for the prevention and cure proper diagnosis of dosha or proper diagnosis of particular stage which helps us to plan the treatment as per intensity of dosh aggravation by the shatkriya kala to decide the prognosis whether the disease is curable or not that is sadhya sadhya avastha to decide appropriate time for the management or as a treatment not started at appropriate time both early or late may result in bad prognosis or even curable disease the application and analysis of kriya kala is highly essential to frame disease control and prevention strategy chakriya kala is a concept in which almost importance in context to achieve the goal of ayurveda conclusion the different stages of kriya kala gives insight regarding the different stages of dosha it also provide understanding regarding when and what kind of measures should be adopted for appropriate management of disease adoption of the disease measure avoid to bad prognosis of disease the practical application and analysis of kriya kala is highly essential to frame disease control and prevention strategy it is the conclusion of shat kriya kala thank you all of you for listening me quietly thank you sir thank you very much uh
काफी अच्छा रहा सर आपका प्रेजेंटेशन मैं वाशने सर से विनती करता हूँ कि वो अपने कुछ विचार रखें धन्यवाद आज डॉक्टर चौधरी का मैंने बहुत लंबे समय बाद सारा लेक्चर सुना वो बहुत संक्षेप में उन्होंने सारी चीजों को अपने ढंग से बताया है और छठ क्रिया काल का ऐसा कोरिलेशन जो साधारणतः पुस्तकों में नहीं मिलता है अपने अनुभव से उन्होंने उस चीज को किया वो तो अकेडमी की ओर से मैं उनका हार्दिक धन्यवाद करता हूं कि उन्होंने अपने व्यस्त समय में से ये समय निकाला और ये जानकारी दी मैं अकेडमी के सभी लोगों से कहना चाहता हूं कि ये जो भी लेक्चर चूंकि समय अब वो सारी चीजें ऑफलाइन भी शुरू हो गई हैं और ये समय थोड़ा सा बीच का कार्य का समय है तो ज्यादा लोग इससे नहीं जुड़ पाए हैं लेकिन ये हमारे लेक्चर हमारी यूट्यूब चैनल पर और फेसबुक लाइव पर हमेशा रहते हैं तो बात तक लोग देखते रहते हैं और एक उत्साह बनता है देखने का और जो हमारे सारे वक्ता हैं उन्होंने अच्छे ढंग से उन चीजों को कलेक्ट किया है और अपने अनुभव को उड़ेला है अब बहुत बहुत आभार धन्यवाद डॉक्टर बोजाद जी का धन्यवाद डॉक्टर गणेश थैंक यू सर धन बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सर सर कंक्लूड कर ले अभी लेक्चर सर आज के लेक्चर को कंक्लूड कर ले सर चौधरी सर हाँ सर हाँ सर बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद सर वॉज वेरी नाइस एक्सपीरियंस टू हियर फ्रॉम यू दैट इज मधुमेह छठकिया का भी मधु मधुमेह पर्टिकुलर भी सो यू डिस्क्राइब इट वेरी नाइसली सो आई एक्सपेक्ट अनादर लेक्चर फ्रॉम यू ऑल्सो छठक्रिया काल फॉर अनादर डिसीजन क्योंकि सर आज तक हमने छठक्रिया काल वही छह श्लोक चार श्लोक जो दिए हैं उन्हीं को और जो आपडोमन या गैस्ट्रिक की तरफ जो बताए थे सिम्टम्स उसी को हम एक्सप्लोर कर दिए लेकिन हर डिसीज के वाइज छठक्रिया काल जो सोशल के एक्सपेक्टेशन थे उसके ऊपर हम काम ही नहीं कर रहे सो so एक एक अच्छा आपने टॉपिक दे दिया सर की हम डिसीज वाइज भी छठक्रिया काल को उसमें फिट कर सकते हैं जो सिम्टम्स बताए हैं वही हमारा एज ए निदान फैकल्टी करके हमारा वही रोड मैप होना चाहिए सो थैंक यू वेरी मच सर शोइंग अस लाइट ऑन शर्ट क्रिया कल टूडे ऑन द बी ऑफ ऑफ एकेडमी वी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट यू टू हैव सच अ वंडरफुल लेक्चर एंड विद दिस नोट एंड विद द परमिशन ऑफ टूडे स्पीकर एंड सेक्रेटरी डॉक्टर वाशना सर वी कंक्लूड दिस सेशन ऑल्सो थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर